Hey guys, you're watching Doc Rich's coverage of Taste Breeze vs Robopoke for OLT Round 1, narrated by myself, Dio Fantine. Taste is a friend of mine, and a friend of Doc's as well. We we're all in Doc's Discord server together, uh, but I'll try not to be too biased. <clears throat> um, and let's get into this. So Robopoke's brought a pretty standard HO with dedicated lead Excadrill. Uh, that's looking like a double glare call with Serpent Zygarde. Um, either Scarf or Z Victini with um, Shift Gear Mag and either Mega or Z Gyarados. Taste has brought a more bulkier offense with a Coco and Curum uh, core. So it's probably going to be a Z Curum with what's looking like a Cursed Sizzle. Um, uh, that's a Rocks and Heatran, obviously, um, Standard Gastro, and Torn probably has Taunt, um, could be the Defogger too. Coco could also be the Defogger as well, could be that uh, Lefty's Roost Defog set too. Riverpoke's going to lead Drill here, uh, Taste is probably going to lead something faster than it, they can U-turn on it, yep, Coco, um, break its Sash, and then go into something that can deal with it, so either Curum, um, yeah, Kyurem's most likely what he's going to go into, go, uh, U-turn into. The Robopoke can either go for Rocks here or predict that and go for a Rock Tomb, Iron Head, depending on which one he has. Um, probably not Iron Head. Yeah, just goes for a Rock Tomb. Gets some Chip and lowers the speed. Um, Robopoke just goes for Rocks here, as expected. Um, and yeah. Taste just drops the nuke, gets rid of the drill. Robopoke's probably going to go into a setup one here. Well, I mean, they're pretty much all setup ones, but uh, Gyarados could be coming in, threatening Supersonic Sky Strike. Victini could also be coming in. Um, <clears throat> if, if it's Scarf Victini, it could just come in and like uh, gain momentum with U turn if Taste doesn't want to let his Kyurem go down just yet. Um, so yeah, either Victini or Gyarados smoke is likely going to come up here. As Gyarados comes out, it's pretty much forced to super, uh, Supersonic Sky Strike here. Otherwise, Taste just uh, claims it with a Fusion Bolt. Um, Taste is probably going to predict that. Um, most likely, he's going to his Coco as it lives a plus one Waterfall too. So even if he does DD, it's not too much of a problem for Taste. Um, how much PP does Bounce have? Bounce only has 8 PP, so if he does go in, he could potentially play around with this. Um, with some Gastrodon mind games and things like that. Um, this no doubt has Taunt on it though, so it could be a problem for Taste. Yeah, Robopoke actually just goes for a DD here. Um, Goes for a waterfall but, and doesn't switch, which is surprising. He gets rewarded as Coco gets flinched. Um, <clears throat> Sage just goes into his Gastrodon here. And yeah, I guess he's just trying to uh, PP stall him. Goes into Heatran. I probably would have um, just recovered there as this Heatran gets more and more chipped. It's um, yeah, as Heatran gets more chipped. Superior looks more dangerous. Um, Robopoke here could either switch out or just continue chipping things away. Uh, Taste most likely just going back, going to go back to Gastrodon. Yep, <clears throat> goes back to Gastrodon. Yeah, Robopoke taunts, good play. Um, stopping the potential PP stall from Taste. Um, Taste here, most likely either going to Scold or could pivot out, predicting a bounce. Um, another DD here is possible by Robopoke, though um, yeah, another DD is possible here. It would allow him to be able to do even more damage to the Gastro. Um, perhaps even uh, 
take this out with the bounce. I'm not sure about the calc off the top of my head, but I'm pretty sure a plus one bounce doesn't kill. Um, so potentially could have to go for a plus two. Yeah, Taste just goes for Scold as Robopo goes for Bounce. Taste goes into Heatran. Um, Heatran's getting lower and lower. As Taste just goes into Taunt here, probably on yep, probably on the Taunt. Um, makes a double into Gastro. Good play as Robopo just goes for Bounce. Taste can now just go for a Recover here, not wanting to let Heatran take any more damage. Yep, does that. Robopoke just goes for the bounce. Um, Taste could pretty freely just fish for a burn here on the taunt. Um, Superior comes in. Taste makes a good read and goes into Coco. Uh, it's faster and can get chip off with U-turn. Also covered... Um, <clears throat> sorry. Uh, yeah, just goes for the U-turn here. Most likely going to go into Tran, which he does. Ripoke here goes for a Leaf Storm. Gets the crit, um, unfortunately. Although, he'd need another crit to be able to take out this Heat Tran. Taste is probably going to go for a Taunt. Um, not wanting to, not wanting it to get a sub up. Though, he could just attack. Um, maybe with a Lava Plume pitching a burn on probably the Gyarados but he just taunts which is a good play um, as Robopoke misses the Leaf Storm though it wouldn't have killed though I guess since Taste did go for the taunt it wouldn't have mattered if it killed or not Robopoke most likely going to switch out so Taste could take advantage here and go for rocks or could make a double of his own as it goes for a double taunt which is a good play um, doesn't let the Gyarados set up you can pretty freely go into Gastrodon here although Robopoke that's pretty obvious Robopoke could easily double out to his um, superior um, as he actually doubles to Victini. Uh, Taste goes into his Curum, probably predicting the double to Superior and just sacks it to V Create. Um, although this does reveal that the Victini is most likely choiced. So Taste just brings out his Gastro, goes for Toxic. And again, I can't really do much to Gastro, so Taste is free to go for. Taste can go for another Toxic here quite freely, as he does, and hits a Serp, which is really nice. Um, just goes into heat run here on the glare. Um, Taste just gets up his rocks. So yep, it was pretty free there, and can just go uh, just go back to Gastrodon and play around with this. Yep, goes for the bounce. Um, Taste just goes for a scold and can now just go for recover on the bounce. As he does. Robopo could here just go for a taunt. Um, although that does risk uh, getting the burn. It would stop Taste being able to PP stall this. Alternatively, he could go for another Dragon Dance. Um, and he just switches to Serp. As Taste gets a nice chip on that with the rocks and the scold and the toxic beginning to take its toll on the serp. And he goes to Torn, um, as the glare was pretty unlikely there, um, as Heatran was his initial switch in at all the time. It's a good position here for Taste because the Torn is faster than the serp and can knock it out, can also gain momentum. As he goes for a taunt here, as Robopoke probably predicts that, goes into his Victini, um, makes a double into Serp, as Taste goes into his Coco, um, which was most likely a sack, though it did cover the Serp play as well. Just knocks it out with U turn as he goes back to Tornadus. 
Urupoke just brings in his Victini here. Taze can probably just sack his Coco again. Uh, the Stealth Rocks definitely uh, racking up their effect on Victini. As yeah, he just sacks the Coco to a U-turn and Robopoke brings in Gyarados. Taze is free here to just play more games with this Gyarados. It's not really doing much. So he does have to be somewhat careful. As yeah, he just fishes for burns here, which is fair. Robopoke DDs, Taste Fishes for Burns once more. Unfortunately, not getting any. Goes off another DD. Um, and Taste actually gets a burn here, so that's pretty good for him. As he just goes out to Scizor. Um, as Robopoke goes for a taunt. Double taunt. Um, not really sure what that would achieve as Scissor just U turns and the burn knocks it out. So he goes into Mag here. Taze can freely go into his Gastro. There's not much that this Mag uh, Magina can do to a Gastrodon. So yeah, just goes into Gastro. As Gastro gets frozen, although he does get Skull, he does have a Skull which can thaw, uh, self thaw. So it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Stays in with the mag. Oh, is he just? <laughs> I don't think Taze knows if um if uh, Scold thaws. So he pivots to Sizzle here, I guess. Um, as Robopoke goes into Victini, this can't come in too many times more. Victini goes for a trick here, probably on the Gastro. Uh, sorry, probably predicting the Gastro. As Taze just goes to Torn here, it, yeah, Torn's not really doing much this game, besides potentially getting a Taunt on Zygarde. Um, so yeah, he could go for a double Taunt here, um, not let this set up, which would be smart. Which he does, and gets Meganer in, um, rubber hook as mid- Sorry, as Robopoke brings Magina in, um, Taze just goes to Scizor. Um, again, Gastrodon was completely safe there. Though I guess it's covered the Zygarde double. As yeah, they both begin to set up. Um, although this Scizor pretty much beats um, DD Zygarde anyway. Although it does have Glare, so there is always the Paralysis, um, paralysis chance. Although, yeah, the thousand arrows just isn't doing enough to this. Is all whereas the bullet punch, clean, clean damage there. And um, Taze can just wall this with his Gashadon. <laughs> Let's see if he knows whether um, Scold falls or not. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so he does now. Uh, I'm not sure why he didn't do that at first. Um, although, yeah. This is probably this is just good game here. Nothing Robopoke can do. Uh, the Victini is too low for this to do anything. Um, as the Scissor will just pick it off with a Bullet Punch, and the Gastrodon just one on ones the Magina. And yeah, so there we have game one. Taste wins. Um, Game two will be brought to you shortly afterwards in real.